Pathogenesis under normal conditions, the pulmonary circulation is a low pressure, MPAP 1216 mHg, high capacity circuit. Healthy individuals can accommodate up to a fourfold rise from the resting cardiac output with little increase in PAP, due to distensibility of the thin walled pulmonary vasculature and to recruitment of vessels that are normally closed when at rest. 12 The excess capacity is such that approximately 70% of the vascular bed must be lost before there is an increase in resting PAP. 12 Most forms of PA share a common pathophysiology which includes pulmonary vasoconstriction, remodeling of the pulmonary vessel wall characterized by intimal thickening medial hypertrophy and, in advanced disease, thrombosis and seca.1315 a single primary cause remains elusive. One mechanism is believed to involve endothelial dysfunction, resulting in overexpression of ET1.16 endothelial dysfunction also reduces the synthesis of nitric oxide and prostacyclin, PGIT2 along with overexpression of vas constrictors such as thromboxane A2, TXA2. 17, 18 These factors work in concert, impairing vasodilatory responses and exacerbating the dysfunctional vasor responses caused by elevated ET levels. 15, 17, 19 Other important pathways in the process of pulmonary vascular remodeling include changes in potassium channel expression activation of vascular elastases, and increased expression of inflammatory chemokines. 20 Various growth and transcription factors have also been postulated to be involved. These including serotonin 21, platelet-derived growth factor, EDGF, fibroblast growth factor, FGF, insulin growth factor 1, IGF-1, epidermal growth factor, EGF hypoxia inducible factor 1 alpha, HIF 1 alpha, and nuclear factor activating T lymphocytes, NFAT. 22, 23 genetic factors play an important role in the development of PA. Mutation of the bone morphogenetic protein receptor type 2, BMPR2, gene has been identified in approximately 70% of patients with familial PA and 25% or less of individuals with IPA without family history. 24 However, the relationship of this gene mutation to the broad range of associated causes of PA remains unknown, and not all individuals carrying the BMPR2 mutation develop PA. A subject who possesses the mutation has a 10% to 20% lifetime risk of acquiring PA, while an individual without the mutation has a lifetime risk of PA no different to the general population. 25 Despite the multitude of perturbations that have been demonstrated in clinical PA as well as in animal models of PHT, it remains unclear which are causes versus consequences of this disorder. Regardless, the end result includes increased vasoconstriction, smooth muscle cell proliferation, decreased vasodilation, and fibrotic changes in medium to small sized pulmonary arteries. 13 15 Both vasoconstrictive and hypertrophic changes lead to increased PVR, increasing the workload of the right ventricle. Initially, the right ventricle compensates to maintain adequate pulmonary flow, but as the increased workload causes the right ventricle to dilate, and eventually fails. Symptoms such as dyspnea and fatigue appear, initially on exertion. Eventually and often suddenly, the right ventricle decompensates and right heart failure ensues. 26 Death occurs as a result of end-stage right heart failure or arrhythmia.